Okay, have you ever wondered how animals trip? Since we're in a sort of psychedelic renaissance in psychopharmacology, there's a ton of preclinical research involving purported psychedelics being given to animals. Mostly with mice and rats, but we'll talk about other animals in a second. Anyways, like with depression research, this begs the question of how can you tell if a mouse is tripping? You can't exactly see what it is seeing, nor can you ask it if it's having a spiritual experience, as you otherwise would in clinical trials with humans. And while there is no direct confirmation of hallucinogenic effects in rodents, there are certain proxy behaviors that have been taken as indication of the animal experiencing hallucinogenic psychedelia. The most notable of these is the head twitch response, a rapid side-to-side -side movement of the head, which occurs rather infrequently in sober rodents, but very frequently in rodents that are under the influence of known hallucinogens like LSD and psilocybin. The effect is thought to be mediated by the 2A serotonin receptor, with this receptor all but confirmed to be necessary for hallucinogenic effects.